Hi, my name is Robert Winnig, and I'm the founder and chief technology officer of Tea Leaf Technology. Today I'm going to walk you through what sort of what Tea Leaf does and why we're different and how you can use the, the visibility that Tea Leaf provides to empower a better website. So fundamentally, Tea Leaf, as you can see from the site here, here's a user on your site, and they're operating against web servers and application servers, and they're trying to transact with you. What Tea Leaf does is provides visibility to what each and every user is doing on your site as if there was a camera over their shoulder. So just as you're watching me today, you have the, the ability to have visibility into each and every customer's experience on your site. Now I'd like to explain what it means to have camera level visibility to each and every user on your website. So in our example here, we see a user operating in a browser, and they're going to come across the internet and talk to your site. Your site may have many web servers, app servers, and a, a very complex tier that results in the user interacting with your site. So as the user interacts, what they're doing is they're doing things in HTTP, they're issuing a request for more information. And when we capture that request, we see the request come in here, and we get the full HTTP post. We get the metadata timing information about how long it took to satisfy that request. And more importantly, we're also capturing the response. And the response is where things get really interesting because the response is the generated HTML so, or the XML that's part of the page. So in here, we're going to see prices. We're going to see errors if anything occurred. We're going to have, an, in essence, a complete audit trail of that complete user experience. This weekend, I was actually planning a trip to, to New York. We have a customer event coming there. And as I was going about planning my travel, I was looking for flights between San Francisco and JFK. So as I was interacting with the site, I entered in, of course, SFO over here to JFK. And got a list of results back. Found a good price. I was looking at about 350 bucks. And I was happy, so I said I, picked, I was going to pick that flight. I hit buy. And then I got back a pricing error. Price not available. Please call. Now, with Tea Leaf, you get the visibility not just to what the user asked to do, but what actually happened, that their transaction was interrupted by what looks to be an error message, the price one no longer available. So I've, I've explained why having Tea Leaf level visibility is very interesting, being able to capture the complete user experience, being able to replay and understand from the user's perspective. But it's also very important to understand there are multiple types of analysis necessary to maintain a high volume website. In essence, there's a need to have structured analysis as well as unstructured. So in a structured world, we saw that this page was a key page. It was your buy page. And there's a lot of things I know ahead of time that I'll always want to analyze on. So within my buy page, we'll want to look at things by city pair. We'll want to look at price, number of flights offered. and number in search terms, and you know, did they accept or not? So every business will have a set of structure criteria to which to analyze user experience. So with Tea Leaf, I was able to see the fact that a user had a poor experience. They got a message, price not available. I was able to measure and quantify that impact by searching and finding all users who received that same message, understanding when the problem started, when it ended, or if it's still going on. I can also measure the impact against conversion ratios and normal metrics that I use to run the site. Now with Tea Leaf 7.0, we've introduced some new features where we can truly understand visitor behavior. This allows me to see whether or not a, a person who experienced this message came back to the site and transacted or didn't. And if they didn't, then I have the ability to then offer new forms of service to the customer. I can turn the call center around and contact them, or I can use email marketing and perhaps offer them a an incentive to come back to the site and transact. With Tea Leaf 7.0, we started to capitalize on the complete data set that we're capturing to truly understand visitor behavior. That is, understanding that a web process doesn't start and end within a single session. It may take multiple sessions. So in my flight example here, where I attempted to buy a ticket, really that was a multi-step process. On day one, I searched and tried to come up with a reasonable list of alternatives of when I could fly. 
And day two, I came back again. I did more searching. And then on day three, here's where I, attempt, where I did the search again. I, I attempted to buy. And I got that nice error message. Price not available. With tea leaf, and especially with 7.0, we have the ability to understand a business process across multiple visits. We call that going from visit to visitor. We take advantage of the fact that we're capturing the complete user experience, the complete HTTP request and response of each and every user. You don't have to decide ahead of time what data to capture. We simply capture it all. Now we can take advantage of that data in both a structured form, understanding the funnel, that this was a three visit process with an, un with an undesired outcome, but more importantly, because I have all of the data, I can still drill down and launch a replay at the final step in this process. And using either search or replay, I can do an unstructured analysis and see what the users saw. This gives us unprecedented power and visibility into understanding user experiences. I hope today's session was valuable and look forward to seeing you again.